Terry. We have versus Alphakins. All right, yeah, Alphakins has been entering like basically every Smash event. It's been cool. Yeah. Uh, he did really well in Smash Four. Did you enter Smash Four too? I did not because I wanted to win melee doubles. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, David, David loses his commentary spot to Teddy. Yep. We take those. So, right. um, can you tell me anything about Burgerden? Uh, he teamed with Neil, didn't he? I'm not sure. I don't know too much about Burgerden. Um, I watched Alphakins Fox in PM, and it was pretty technical, but he uh, he didn't follow up tech chases very well. Uh, okay. But we'll see how he does in melee. Yeah. Alphakins, he's currently ranked third in Alberta. So that's pretty good. Um, but I'll pay it. Burgerdon's looking pretty good too. So I, I honestly have no idea where he's from. Or, uh, so in this situation, it's hard to not die from any hit when you're the when you're Alphakins Fox. Yeah. But you, you need to... Um, well, he, he died from any hit, but uh. Wait, uh, so Alphakins is White Fox, right? Yes. Okay. I was thinking it was the other way around for some reason. Oh, that that pressure was pretty unsafe, but he got with it. Oh, it doesn't get the follow up. There was a nice tech on the platform. Yeah, most of the uh, 20xx style foxes lo love to up throw on the platform. They always land on the platform. And then follow up with the grab. Or 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 they wait for the tech. He yeah. he, he jumped early, but no big deal. Oh, that double back here. Kind of scooped him up at the up air there too. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a tough one to follow up. Um, that's that's usually a situation where you can do a mix up and yeah. since they're diing off, you can throw them another way and their di will be uh, ah, okay. will be wrong. This should kill. Oh, yep. That was a good edge guard and, uh, he, or edge hog. He's not making it easy for Alphagans. Like uh, you know, usually if you don't like haven't heard of a player or something, you just kind of assume like. They're gonna get rocked or something by a well-known player, but I mean, Burgerdon's keeping it like fairly even. Oh, this would be rough. Oh, uh, yeah, he's not making it back from he that. Must have lost a jump during the flutter uh, kick at some point or something. Could he not have made it back if he changed his angle? No, he could not. He 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 realized he was without jump way too late. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, that's a situation. Right. He still gets the shine out of it. Yeah. Oh, that was a good reset. If the DI behind you, you have to wait for the tech on the shoot. Perfect. So he's getting a bunch of stray hits, a bunch of aerials that are yeah solid. Neutral. He's not getting hit much either. Yeah, like they not much of an exchange back and forth. Alphakins is kind of like dominating neutral. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, he, he's not getting huge uh, combos out of it, but he's winning neutral most of the time. Yeah, that, that's what yeah. got him for the. So, ditto right. any stage can be, can be basically be counterpick, but yeah. a, a favorite of many a fox. Ooh. I feel like, you, yeah, you can like both be comfortable here. Um, it's hard to get that tech away off of the off-screen shine. Basically, you, you shine and you tech so fast that the camera can't catch up to you. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get that one. Oh. You ever play Fox Teddy? You ever give it a go? I mean, I used to play every character in this game. Like, not anymore? Not anymore. No. <laughs> I don't have the time for it. I wish it. I wish I could play all as much as I want to. Oh, he went for the down. I feel like an up tilt would have been a lot better. Oof. Trade. Well, a much better trade for Alphakins. Alright, there we go. So a solid lead for Alphakins so far. Both still well within crouch cancel percent, so they need to get shine knocked down. Yeah. Or grabs. Oh. oh. That's, that's a good follow up, but. Burgundin, ah, Burgundin just kind of, you know, played. Although that was kind of a weird down smash. Fox Tech's way too far to get hit by that. It was more of a, I'm pretty sure it's low. Oh. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean to, to laser spot dodge, but. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. And so many stray, perfect. like you were saying, there's so many stray aerials. Yep. Not huge conversions, but yeah. lots of winning. Aerial trades. Well, that, that's the thing. Like, I, I, Alphakins just keeps winning neutral over and over again, but he's not like getting, he's not getting any long combos out of anything. Yep. <laughs> you can't. The, the back air through the wall. The person, oh, he jumps in. The person in the pit has the advantage there, <laughs> unless you're Mars. Even oh. then, you still have uh, most of the advantage when you're in the pit. If I, if I, he could have gone and grabbed. That was not safe. Oh, nice up smash out of shield. It'll in, at that spacing. It'll beat almost every option. Unless they shield, which we could have just shielded. 
Up smash it. I feel like not enough boxes up smash out of shield. Oh. It used like, to be like lower level, lower level. It used to be super popular because people weren't multi shining mm -hmm. in the way back, so up smash out of shield was a good option, really good option. Yeah, it's actually, I don't know, it's easy to forget because I like haven't been around as long, you know, to how much the meta has like shifted over the years. Oof. Like oh. what people are capable of. You gotta get Chantos. Dude, the DI. Go high. Alfkin's DI is pretty on point. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow, they both went that for us. That was the opposite. But he, even, even Burgerden was like, wait, what? That was the opposite of what I thought happened. Yeah, same here. Alfkin's is from him. Uh, the Canadian, the Canadian warrior. Plays uh, all his match games. Yeah, he plays plays everything. He's he's like Alberta's big D, really. Oh, oh, right. the nice chain here. Nice chain throw. Got chain throw here because it's going to be awkward with the platforms. Yeah. Oh. Do you think once tournament edition comes out, like we'll we'll shift to the no platform Ooh. Pokemon Stadium standard? I don't know. I, I like. How do you feel about that? I like the game as it is. Yeah, I, I think a lot of players are like that. I don't I, have a huge problem with the transformations, but like when it interrupts things like that, is that like? Good. I mean, I guess if we want the game to progress optimally, mm -hmm. we should do that. But then I don't want people to start replacing a, 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 another neutral stage with it. Yeah, that's, it. that's true. Ooh. It's just, it's just so long that spaces have such a good laser game there. Yeah. I have some news report. Oh. Oh, I was just gonna say some results. You wanna get? Oh, oh no, I'm good. Do you wanna oh, get? Sorry, sorry. So Alfkin takes it 2-0. Um, this is to get into top 32, maybe? Uh, no, he is to go through. We have it right here. So he beat uh, Burgerden. Now he's playing this person. Blues? And then he has to beat Wario. Okay. So a little bit of a trip for him. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he, he's in Smash 4, right? That's why it's taking a while to play. He was doing really well in Smash 4. Beat Felix. Um, oh, really? Wow. Felix is pretty salty. Oh, uh, I can imagine. That's Losing the Little Mac makes you salty. Oh, he plays Little Mac? Because it's just like, oh, I, I died. Just, he just hit me, and I no, died. Yeah, exactly. He just hits you so hard. I, I don't like playing Little Mac. I barely play Smash 4, but when I do and I play Little Mac, I, I hate it. Oh, so this is... Oh, my gosh. B. Wesley. That's this what This is not B. Wesley. This is Fox. This is definitely... This is like 100% not B. Wesley. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused by what's going on. That is not V Wesley. I, I, I've, I have a feeling, knowing the type of person Spencer is, this is Spencer on the left. Uh, 